Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. You know that God has called every believer to a particular life, a unique life with him. Every single believer, just like every human being, has uniqueness about them. Even though we're all human beings, as believers, we are different parts. And even if we're similar parts, if one foot sees another foot, that foot is different because God has made us uniquely different. And that means that he has created a life for every single one of us to live. Not just salvation, but actually a life. Let me use an example. Jesus, when he was talking to the lady at the, the well, the Samaritan well, the Samaritan woman at the well, he was telling her, he says, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again in John chapter 4. And that's your homework today. But whoever drinks the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. I think Jesus was not only talking about salvation, which she did receive, and then the rest of this region of Samaria received, uh, believed on the Lord Jesus, but it's also a life that Jesus comes to the believer in the same way and asks them, are you drinking of me? The reason why you're not satisfied in the life that you're living right now is because you have stopped drinking in me. He goes on to talk about, to tell this lady to ask her to call for her husband and bring and have him come to him. And she says, I don't have a husband. And Jesus says, you're right, I don't have a husband. You, But you have had five husbands. That means that she has made decisions in her life to drink from other wells that have nothing to do with Jesus Christ. And that means to live a life that has nothing to do with connecting to the Lordship and the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. And there's many listening to this video that have done that, that are doing that. And the Lord is coming to you in this video to tell you that if you continue to drink of those wells, you'll be thirsty. That means that you won't be satisfied. But if you actually drink of the water that he gives you, he said, I shall give you, well, you will never thirst again. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. You know that you're living that kind of life, that God, the life that God wants you to live, specifically for the calling and the gifts that you have, when you see this happening in your life. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water. See, the water that God gives you, the life that he gives you, pours out of you. It becomes a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life.